big goal for us. Oh my god, this guy. Okay, guys. swinging back. Go again as far as you can. Don't punch either. It's not punch jumps. Let's do it. Yep. Your jump is actually fine, Ange, but your hands are only getting to T-Rex style. You've got to actually swing them in front and back. Because your, your jumps are awesome. Yeah, yeah, but as you land, don't go <laughs> with your head. Reach, keep your head up, but let them swing back and then go again. Yes, yeah, exactly. You don't throw your head down as your hands come down. Same thing on the way back. Actually, I'll cut this one a little bit. <laughs> take off in that position yeah. so much better so much better so it's not a tuck and then an open it's once you punch your legs come from behind you so go going back to like fly spring to stuff it's very uncomfortable like substantially less comfortable than front handspring but as you reach with your legs say you are going for front layout when you punch from the back use your arms to open squeeze your butt as tight as possible because you've actually got the open all right, but you're tucking then opening. If you, as soon as you hit, bring them over and squeeze, you'll have better. And to be honest, I know this will feel a bit stupid, but you can literally just do that onto your back and make sure that you're staying straight. That's how we learn it on vault. You do a handstand clap back. It's the same premise. Mm. That was good timing. Block. Yeah. Look of uncertainty. Ruby! Young Jedi warrior, do you want me to do your belt up? Nah. <laughs> oh god, I'm an idiot. Kick your butt.
Well, that's a little off smiling. Good try. Okay, yeah, that was a bit tough, bit off, let's say. Cody, can you please work? Can you do front handspring? That's one that you are more likely to do on floor. Sorry, Sam, one sec. Don't tuck in. Keep your legs straight. You could actually land that. All right, Sam. So, in your next combo, let's just...
Come, come. Kick your butts. Faster than that. This is like a great walking. You're right.
Left foot goes up on the hip, hop forward, and then put your other foot on the hip. Good. Now they probably still have control of your collar if they don't, that's okay. Now I want to put your right foot in their bicep. Cool. Alright, that's, that's our open guard, okay? Swap, other side. Alright, they set up the collar. You repeat, get the collar. Yep, yep, that's it. And then grab the sleeve. Now, get rid of the grip by rolling over and pushing it down. That's it. Now, hop forward with your left foot up on the hip. Pull down, put your other foot on the hip. Then go to the bicep and get rid of their wrist, their grip. Excellent. All right, I want you to do that back and forth five times each just to get the guard right. So remember what this gun this gun is used for keeping your opponent away from you. Okay, controlling the distance. So make sure that they're crouching over the top of you, that you're pushing them away, controlling their base. Don't just let them stand over you. Your legs, the most powerful side of your body. Put the bicep. Nice and round size. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Moving around. That's it. 30 seconds to a minute. Doing this. Okay, so get there. Start with the collar still, start with the collar straight away because you, you're bunching her up and making sure she has to work hard. So move around, as you're moving around, then you go to your normal line, looking, yeah, looking, and then you go to the other side. Yeah, 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 that's all you've got to come out. You're going to lose the bicep and you're going to the hip. Okay? Hold that guard. Hold that guard. Boom! Get into your open guard. The bicep. The team grabs the foot. Move up the guard. Fire. Go. Go through. Up across. Reach around grab. Rolling backwards. Oh, All right, so right foot goes inside their ankle. All right, left foot pushes, right foot pulls, blast. There's that. There's that. All right, so slide up to mount, pushes up with the body. Yep, 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 slide, oh, slide your knee through, slide your right knee through. The one that's in your translation. Yeah, yeah, slide, slide it through the chest. Yep. Push his arm across his chest. Left arm goes under his chest. Left arm goes under his wrist. Yep. Go underneath his elbow, right here, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Now, roll that way and roll it into back control. Yep, yep. Go, go. Yes, but you need to be in half guard, half man. All right, keep practicing today. All right, keep practicing the hook sway. So, yep, so tuck your foot in. Yep, nah, the other one. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. This one, knee up. Side man, like this. Oh, yep, yep, yep. And you're going to fall back into this and roll him over it. So, so pull back, roll him over it. No, I'm not in the guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Pull. Push. Yeah. Pull. Now, yeah. left knee goes up to the side. Yep. Yep. Left knee goes through. Push it back. Push it back. Roll over it. Roll over it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Like this. Yeah. Like this. Like that. Knee goes over it. Grabs her ankle. Now, get on your. You put both feet back on the hips. Get on your right side. Left foot goes in the belly like a sidekick. Left foot. No, no, yeah, don't, don't help. <laughs> it's like cheating, two plus two, seven. <laughs> right foot goes behind their ankle, and you're going to. Behind their ankle? Yep. You're going to 
full left foot, but at the same time, your left foot, you're going to kick yourself in the butt cheek and get your foot out of the way and squeeze your knees together to trap their legs. Go. Push them away. And then squeeze. Yep. Yeah, push them. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you got to get that foot out. See how it gets trapped? Yeah. 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 Yeah.